Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Well, hey, look, we're back behind the mic, fired up. We're here in the great state of Oregon. We drove up to visit Ben, Oregon, where I have a house and uh, my son lives here. Absolutely love visiting our friends in Ben. Today, we're gonna talk about a couple things. A lot of people have been asking me about the dividend tree, how we take our Cover Call profits, we buy dividend paying stocks, with the idea that we use a semi-passive investment strategy and we turn that into passive income with dividend paying stocks. I'm going to show you my current dividend tree plant. I love to call it a dividend tree plant as I'm planting dividend trees. I think everybody gets the idea where you have fruit trees that bear fruit. Those fruits have seeds and you can plant more trees. See, we bear the fruits of dividends. Everybody gets the idea that if we put our hard-earned money to work in great dividend-paying stocks and mutual funds, they will bear the dividends of monthly income that we can live on. We could pay some bills and live the good life. But we have to plant those trees. And those dividend trees aren't cheap. We have to actually have the money to do it. So how do I do it? I'm going to show you in this video how I literally print money to be able to then buy those dividend stocks. This is what I do, and this is what I've been doing for some eight years on YouTube. A lot of you out there that have found my channel, I actually find it hilarious that I'm getting a lot of comments where people will say, this guy sounds like he's selling snake oil. Yet, I've been here on YouTube for some eight years showing you how we use the second oldest investment strategy on Wall Street, selling premium. That's what we do. We write covered calls against the shares we own. We sell cash secure puts against the cash we own. Selling premium is what we do. And when we do that, we literally print money. And what I mean by that is this. We have shares of a stock. We're going to give somebody the right, but not the obligation to take them away from us. And they are going to pay us a per share premium. That per share premium is the money we're going to use when we buy the dividend paying stock. And that's going to be our dividend tree plant. And we're gonna talk about that. So let's go ahead and get into this. I uh, definitely love all the new subscribers and all the new comments. I mean, I'm getting 70 plus comments a video. I love the interaction and I love how I'm learning something. Also love how others are helping others. That is the best part of all of this because everybody gets a chance to learn because do remember, my channel is all about showing you my trades, talking about it, so maybe you'll learn something. And that's what we've been doing here. And we do it straight talk style. I try to bring it down to the most basic elements so we understand it, we get excited, then we go out and get our education, and then we get motivated because we know we can do this and then we get our experience, actually making money, having success. Okay, so before we get into these numbers, and I'm going to show you a trade for which I generate cash flow, I take that cash flow, and I buy dividend paying stocks. So look, if you like anything you hear today, I want you to subscribe to the channel. And hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. So let's talk about my Apple trade. I am absolutely jacked up. Because I told anyone that would listen, particularly my members, I told them, look, we need to get involved with Apple when it's trading around 170. And that's exactly what I did. I sent them a trade alert and I also sent them an email talking about Apple at 170. And by the way, if you want to be a part of my membership, you absolutely need to click the link in the description because I got a one free month offer for you. And I'm here to tell you right now, I do some 35 trades a month. Those can be considered all trade alerts. And oh, by the way, the videos that you get that you don't get here, you're missing out. I want you to sign up. I give you a one free month offer. I'm telling you, man, at the end of the day, I try to give you an experience that you will not get anywhere else. cpdashboard.com, click upgraded dashboard, get your one free month offer or click the description below. Apple was trading at 170 and we're going to write a cover call on Apple because I want to get involved in it. When we get involved with these stocks, we want to have great entry points. I guarantee you there are so many people out there right now, if they needed help, I know exactly what they need help with. I've been in this game long enough to know. It's great entry points. 
Everybody's telling me, look, man, help me out with my entry points. Well, that's what I love to do because I used to mess up all the time. Man, I'd get involved in a stock when this thing is raging higher. I'm thinking it's going to go to the moon only to realize that Wall Street takes profits and they always take profits. I've learned that that is not when you want to get involved. So when I get involved in a stock, it's usually at its support line. And I usually outline that always in a video for my members. That's why you want to sign up. I realized Apple had been kicked in the ribs and we were going to go ahead and get involved. We're talking Apple. And the one thing I know about Apple is when Apple finds itself as support, Wall Street comes a call it. I'm sorry. Wall Street has so much money invested in Apple, they're just not going to let this thing fall off too much. This is not a 3M or 3M trading at 250 and Wall Street abandons it and it trades at 90. This is Apple, man. And Apple's one of the biggest companies on the planet. So when it trades its support, that's where you want to be involved. And when I outlined the short-term, near-term support being around 170, well, we got involved. And you can see it fell to 70, rallied, fell to 70, and then it's been bouncing off 70. And when we got involved, which was back here, it was the perfect entry because after we got involved, which was literally when it hits 170, it pops to 180 because it gets an upgrade. Well, after the upgrade, something hits us. That's when they get hit with the antitrust suit, and that came out of nowhere. Stock gets jacked up, falls from 180 back down to 170. But I still love the support, so it's hanging around 170, so I double down. Where I get involved with 500 shares here, I add another 500 shares here, and now we're writing covered calls. So let's go to my covered call tracker, and we'll talk about the current trade and where we've been with Apple. And as you can see, Apple's trading at about 176. Recently, it got some good news. It's moving higher. But what I want you to notice is this. This is a poor man's covered call. And for a lot of you, you understand what a poor man's covered call is. It's a little different than a standard covered call where I own the shares. I'm actually using a leaps call option. And you could see I got involved when Apple was trading around 170. And you can see that very first purchase happen on March 5th. We then get involved almost a month later for the second double dip. Now I control some 1,000 shares. Now, I'm using a poor man's covered call. Let's not be confused. I am writing a covered call. That's all you need to know. All you need to know. How I'm using the shares versus leap call options, we don't need to worry about that. I'm writing a standard covered call. And that's exactly what I did. When I have control of 1,000 shares, I'm going to go ahead and write a standard covered call. When the stock was trading on April 8th, it was trading around 168. So imagine the stock is trading at 168. I tell the greater stock market, I will sell my shares at 170. Well, I'm going to give somebody about 20 plus days to make that decision. They have about 20 days to buy my shares at 170. How simple is this? I own the shares essentially at 168. I'm giving somebody the right, but not the obligation to take them for me at 170. They're going to pay me 170 if they take them. They pay me $2.71 per share for that right to take my shares at 170. Now, that would be a covered call. I'm covered because I own the shares. And in this case, I picked the April 26th expiration date, meaning that's the time frame they have to make the decision if they want to buy my shares at 170. Now, whether they do or not, at this point, it doesn't matter. I put on the trade. And what that means is when somebody takes me up on that offer, I will get $2,700 deposited into my account. And that's exactly what happened because somebody took me up on that offer. And when we look at the tracker for all the members, the members can track every single trade that I do on any particular stock. They will get this email. They'll have this link. When you look at all those covered calls that I've done to this moment, you can see that I started this trade back on April 5th. We wrote a covered call, and because of the stock trading up or down, I closed that trade, generating this profit. That gets a little advanced for some of you, but here's the deal. When you place a trade, you can also take the trade back you would buy the option back. Remember I got $2.70 for that option? $2.70 for that option to sell my shares at 170. 
Well, as a stock trades up and down, that 270 will move up and down as well. And when the stock falls, that's when this falls. And what I can do is I could take the $2.70 they paid me and maybe the options now trading for half. As you could see, some of these trades have. You can see here I got paid 271 and this is the current trade. It's in yellow. But notice the one before. It was trading for 188 The stock had fallen. I bought it back for $1.02. I made $0.86 cents or $860. Why I would buy that back? It really depends on how much money is on the table. You could see every time I bought an option back from Apple during this trade, we're collecting close to $1,000. $900, $1,300, $300, $860. And this last one is $2,700. I want you to stick around, man. You need to subscribe to the channel because we are going to absolutely revisit this trade. Subscribe to the channel right now. This is how I do it. We have various different ways we can make money, but this is called selling premium. Whether I'm doing it this way or that way, what did I do? I had shares or I had control of shares. I gave somebody the right, but not the obligation to take those shares from me at a price I picked. And they paid me a per share premium when I told them the time frame they would have to make that decision. It's really that simple. Writing a covered call is no more difficult than that. Imagine this, you buy a stock, it's trading for $100, and you say to yourself, I'll give somebody the ability to buy it off me at 105 and you know what, I'll give them 30 days to make that decision, and you know what, they're going to pay me 5 bucks for me holding the stock for this 30 days, and here's the deal, if they don't take the shares, I'll keep the shares, but I'm keeping that 5 bucks. If in 30 days the stock is at 105 or above, I'll give them my shares at 105. They're going to pay me 105 and I keep the five bucks. Do you notice a theme here? You keep the five bucks. That is how we print money. But what I'm here to tell you, the buy and hold investor, he ain't doing it. The buy and hold investor is not making five bucks and he's not taking the five bucks and then buying a dividend stock. See, when we write covered calls and sell cash secure puts, we literally print money because when we enter that contract they're going to send us that five bucks hey look if you got more questions put them in the comments or go to cpt dashboard get your one free month offer of a membership and you have access to me to ask questions if you want to learn how to do what i do then sign up and then you have access to me all the tools i give you the trackers the calculators the spreadsheets the dashboard and all my real-time trades and all the videos. Now let's talk about that dividend tree trade because we take that five bucks, right? That, that covered call premium, we're taking that and we're dropping it in to a dividend paying stock. Now this is the best part of all this because we go from making money in a trade and that's great. We could tell everybody at a party, a mixer, hey man, I'm knocking it down, writing covered calls, making all this money. Well, you go from the trade mindset to the wealthy mindset when you take that profit and you drop it in a dividend paying stock. Now I've talked about ULTY in the past and this is a yield max stock and I'm trying to collect 1500 shares. I've got 655 shares right now. It's taken me seven days. You can see we are literally writing covered calls and then taking those profits and buying equivalent amount of shares. That dividend paying stock pays about $1 a month, $1 per share. What they do, ULTY is a yield max fund. It uses a basket of about 15 to 30 stocks and they write covered calls on it. This is unique than anything else you'll ever see because typical buy right ETFs will use indexes. They don't use individual stocks like ULTY does. So ULTY is using high volatility stocks. Now you say to yourself, whose yield max is an option house? They not only trade all of the ETFs under yield max, they're also trading for defiance. These are option-based ETFs generating massive monthly dividend income, monthly dividend passive income. And that's what we're looking to do. So we take our covered call profits that I just explained 
and we're now putting them into dividend paying stocks. So we are now generating what is going to be $661 until I decide to trade ULTY. Now, with that said, monthly dividend stocks vary and ULTY might not pay a dollar next month. They might pay less or more. So what you need to do is just be in the game. And I'm going to ask you to do your homework. Find out what yield max is. Find out what ULTY is. But here is what I really want you to do. I want you to go out and learn how to write covered calls against the shares you own. Because that is going to be the income, the cash flow generator that allows you to buy these stocks. See, at the end of the day, that's the number one complaint I get. Everybody tells me, look, man, I don't have the money to buy these dividend paying stocks like you do. Well, I don't either, but I use covered call writing to generate the money to then do it. Hey, look, man, that's just an excuse if you're asking me. No more excuses. Be motivated. Be inspired. Be inspired by me because we're doing it. See, I'm not here on YouTube to make the YouTube money. What I'm here to do to show you my trades, we talk about it, so maybe you learn something, and maybe you can find your financial freedom like I did. My goal this year is to generate $12,000 a month using this idea. That's right. I am going to write covered calls all year, and I'm going to put them into monthly dividend paying stock, and when we get to 1,500 shares for any one particular stock I'm buying, we move on. That's called a plant. I have a dividend tree grove. And when I look at my dividend tree grove, just like a farmer that looks out and looks at his apple orchard, he's got hundreds of apple trees that are producing fruit. And he's going to take that fruit and he's going to make apple juice. That's what I'm going to do with my dividend trees. I am going to plant dividend tree after dividend tree. And they are going to produce the monthly dividend cash flow fruit. That will allow me to live the good life. So hey look. I hope you enjoyed this video. But more importantly. I need you to try it. I want you to get off the couch. And stop watching everybody else. Be successful. Find your success. And if it's through me. That's fine. I had a mentor. My mentor Jerry helped me. In fact if you go to cpt-board.com. If anything. Watch the story the story of Jerry and me. He was the guy that talked to me, mentored me, answered my questions, and eight years ago allowed me to be able to do this so I can show you. Hey, look, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, subscribe right now. You don't want to miss out on what's coming. And hey, look, if you like the video today, bang that like button because it truly lets me know you like what I'm doing. Be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.